Hey everyone, today I'm going to be showing you how a Manu bomb works. This all started when my brother sent me this video and said, what's going on here? This video posted by Rugby Joe on Instagram shows him jumping in the water and then he throws a ball that lands right after he hits the water. The ball gets launched in the air extremely high. How on earth did that happen? Well, the way in which he jumped in the water is called a Manu or a water bomb and it's spraying water at a high velocity after he jumps in. This jet of water then hits the ball that was falling down and shoots it way up in the air. A manu is a type of splash that New Zealanders created and love to do. If you get really good at it, you can send spraying water in the air extremely high with a lot of force. To figure out how this is working, I checked out some instructional videos on how to manu. The key is that right before you hit the water, your body's bent in this position. And then once you hit the water, you open your body up so that you end up almost completely upside down in the water. This sends a powerful spray of water up off your legs and body. You can kind of see this when I mimic this same action with my hand in this bowl of water in my sink. I just open up my hand really fast and this powerful jet of water gets forced up. What's happening here has a name. It's called a Rayleigh jet or a Worthington jet. It happens whenever you have a volume of water that's been cleared out usually after some falling object impacts the surface. Then once the object's no longer impeding the water, all the water suddenly collapses back into that cavity. And since it's all collapsing to the same point, it forces the water out the center at a high velocity. Now one way to make a really good Worthington jet is just to drop a sphere straight down in some water. So to mimic this, I made a little electromagnet here. Turn it on. I'm gonna stick this steel ball to it. And as soon as I turn off the electromagnet, the steel ball is gonna fall straight down into this water here. So I'm gonna film what happens when the ball hits the water here. Right after it hits the water, you can see this giant jet of water shoot out the center. It shoots so high in the air, you can see drops of water falling for a few moments afterward. This is amazing. A jet of water form shooting straight out where the ball hit. Look at that volume of water coming out after the ball hits the water. The jet reaches much higher than the initial drop point of the ball. If we really slow this down, you can see what's happening here. The ball dropping in the water creates a large cavity in the water that continues straight down in the water for quite some time. This takes energy to do, and that energy reduces the speed of the ball and it's now stored as potential energy in the water. Then the water suddenly collapses back together. So the entire volume of that cavity is collapsing down to one point. This creates an extremely fast jet of water that shoots out of the center. This high speed jet actually starts right at the pinch point of the air cavity in the water. In this shot, you can see it shoot out the center at a high velocity. This collapsing water has momentum that continues upward for quite some time after the initial jet. Remember that the energy to make this water is coming from slowing the object down and creating a large cavity of air in the water. So the bigger the collapsing cavity, the bigger the jet of water. So you can manipulate the jet by choosing an object that creates a large cavity in the water. So this works a little bit better when you coat your ball in some oil. So that makes the ball a little bit hydrophobic so it can create a large cavity as it hits the water. Now I get it oily. Now turn it off, let's see. So you can see it splashes way better when it's oily. It's amazing how much force can come off of this splash. So does anyone watching this know how to Manu? What are some techniques that you use to get the biggest splash? Let me know in the comments section. And thanks for watching another episode of the Action Lab. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you haven't yet and check out theactionlab.com where I sell Action Lab gear. And thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.